Today we're going to be looking at some dominating tactics just like this one where Arsenal won 33 of the 38 games that they played throughout the season and had 101 points and even if we look at the games that they didn't win they drew against Liverpool and Southampton and they only lost three against United, Liverpool and Man City teams that you would expect Arsenal to lose against. This tactic is amazing. In just the 38 games that Arsenal played, they scored 115 goals, which is also quite amazing. They had the most shots as well, just beating out Manchester United. They had the most dribbles. They had the second highest possession, 55% possession. The most clean sheets as well, with 23 out of the 38 games. Only 15 games they conceded a goal in, despite scoring the most amount of goals. And you know, we know Arsenal are a big team, but they're not exactly one of the best teams in the league. I think even Arsenal fans will be willing to admit that there's no other sign-ins to this Arsenal team, and they still manage to do this. And to prove to you I'm not pulling the wool over your eyes, you can see here by appearances, all of the players that have played this season, they are all Arsenal's actual players. This is at the start of the database before Mesut Ozil leaves, of course, but it still is an impressive amount. Lacazette gets 40 goals in this. And there's a lot of goals, to be fair, to be spread around. William managed to pick up a few, Aubameyang picks up a few, and assist-wise, Kieran Tierney, the left-back, picks up 20. Look how many people have double figures for assists. It's very much spread out across the whole team. Even substitutes getting in on the act with Bakayo Saka there, only starting 13 of these games, scoring 8, getting 14 assists. This means that even coming off the bench, you can impact a game and manage to pick up goal contributions. Again, the same tactic with Swansea this time in the championship, picking up 106 points, becoming the champions of the championship. This tactic creator is GYRFM, very nice guy who is an incredibly good tactic creator. We're going to take a look at the tactic in a sec. Let's just have a look again at the team overview because yet 117 goals in 46 games. That's ridiculous. The most points, the most shots again. They didn't have the most clean sheets, which it doesn't matter. You've just won the league. Like, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. Most possession, they are second there with 57% possession. So it is a very dominating tactic. And here is this tactic. It is a 4-2-3-1. GYRFM has named it Swansalona. Swansea, Barcelona. I'd imagine he's already tested it with Barcelona as well. It also did incredibly good. It's only a positive mentality, which I actually quite like, because there are three attacking sets there and three supportive roles along with two in the back line with obviously just the two center backs just set naturally to center defense no ball playing defender nothing too fancy there's nothing too fancy about this tactic and that's what i like and that's why i think it really works the inside forwards work quite well the shadow striking you already know is one of my favorite roles this time and my, probably my favorite combination of center midfielders in this game deep line playmaker and box to box midfielder on support i really do think in fm21 it's worked really well that's kind of what I've been using in a lot of my tactics myself where I've actually found some success which is very rare to be honest. The link for all of these tactics by the way on today's video will be down in the description because there is more tactics to come but I'm just going to show you for all of these people who cannot download them we have a wide attacking width there passing into space we're going through the middle now usually I don't like focusing the play too much because it means that these players will be tired out but maybe if you are using this have some substitutes which you can switch in and out standard passing directness higher tempo running out of defense one of my favorites this year be more expressive nothing selected here which is very rare to see usually you see a work the ball into bot so it's not wasted probably the reason why we're having the most shots in every single uh, league campaign low crosses in transition then simple gag and press nothing else other than taking short kicks i like it simple and effective out of possession is a much higher line of engagement and a high defensive line again something that i found really works this year is having not both high, much higher or not both higher having either a standard defensive line and a higher or like it is here I'm trying to make it too complicated to be fair extremely urgent pressing intensity preventing the short goal kick distribution getting stuck in and I'll click through so you can see all of the individual instructions here but it is pretty standard to be honest a lot of a few shoot less often a bit of sit narrower 
in the defense i think that works quite well as well and shoot less often on the fullbacks when they manage to get forward another dominating tactic we have here is a nap tactic the ramble on tactic that he has created which you can find on the fm scout website again the link will be down below what i really like about this is this asymmetric form and i think this actually works quite well we have inverted wing backs as well which i find have been quite useful in this game it has a defensive winger on the left hand side with a few attacking roles here the center midfielder the attacking midfielder and the advanced forward who plays slightly on the right it has a winger on support so you do have that option of a further up player but it gives you three players there and a supporting player who's who's on attacking to be fair who is going to attack and get into the box as well and help but this defensive winger i think when i seen this formation i instantly thought of atletico madrid who are kind of considered the third best team in the league and this defensive winger role koke is perfect for it he is absolutely perfect for this defensive winger role if we take a look at the league they are league champions they were league champions by a point over Real Madrid but they only lost two games the whole season one was a shock defeat against Alaves one against Real Madrid themselves Luis Suarez playing up front getting 29 goals and Koke even though he's a defensive winger managed to pick up 21 assists maybe it's because he was a set piece taker I'm not sure but still they managed to win the league very happy with that let's take a look at the rest of this tactic then so we have a positive mentality again overlapping on both sides working the ball into the box fairly wide standard pass and directness extremely high tempo running at the defense in transition yet again a gagan press this time though we're rolling it out to the fullbacks out of possession however offside trap much high line engagement standard offensive line usually i'm not a fan of it being that far apart but i guess there's players across the whole uh, the whole park which means I, I kind of understand why they've gone with that uh, using an extremely urgent press intensity and getting stuck in individual instructions then we can see as I go forward throughout all of these just in case you cannot download this tactic or you're playing on FM touch or even on Xbox, you can copy this tactic, pause it in each section, and you should be absolutely fine. Again, another tactic where we have scored the most goals, 97-17 more than Real Madrid, which, considering you are in a league with Real Madrid and Barcelona, who tend to score a lot of goals, Barcelona are only down in 61. They've had a very bad season. We didn't see our team anywhere else, but I imagine we're there pretty much in the majority of these. The second most shots there, maybe we're just more clinical with our shots this time round, and the second highest clean sheets, Real Madrid, obviously being a very defensive team this season but before we take a look at the final tactic on this list let's talk about today's sponsor skillshare now you know i mean business now because i've spun my hat backwards skillshare is the go-to online learning community in my opinion with thousands of classes in many different topics so there is always going to be a class that may pique your interest. Any of you aspiring content creators may fancy picking up an editing class, maybe shooting the footage with Marcus Brownlee. Skillshare is the perfect place to begin exploring. There are no ads, meaning you can stay focused throughout. And Skillshare has kindly given me an offer for the first 1,000 people to select the link down below in the description. You managed to get yourself one free month trial of Skillshare. So please do not miss out on this opportunity. Thank you once again to Skillshare. Remember guys, the link down below in the description. Take advantage of this incredible offer. And the third and final tactic that I've got for you today, which the link again down in the description, we can see Atalanta have finished in second place just three points off AC Milan at the top. So very unfortunate as well. And they managed to stick up there for a long time and they only lost it the very last game of the season when they lost against Inter Milan. They stayed second from a very early part of the season, carried it on, jumped up to the top where unfortunately Inter Milan gave AC Milan the win. Eventually, I'm sure they were absolutely gutted by that although they no they were fine they were they should have let us win they should have let us win the league there let's take a look at the team overview though because again we have a few interesting points here we have the fewest shots against in this new tactic that we'll take a look at but we have the highest possession 55% possession. When you're dominating the game, you expect to have the most possession. This tactic does that. We have completed the most dribbles, which I do find quite impressive, to be fair, for a team that not necessarily you'd think that would happen with. Most clean sheets were down in fourth place and the fewest amount conceded again in fourth place, only conceding 30 goals in the 38 games. And what I think makes that quite impressive is because this is a weird three at the back formation that we found. Die by inversion two. It's a very strange name, don't get me wrong. But again, 
then it has that defensive wingers and it has two of them this time around two roman playmakers two defensive wingers two shadow strikers it's very symmetrical don't get me wrong and i like that the only thing i dislike about it is the false nine i don't know whether that plays a huge part in it and that's the reason why this tactic ticks but i would like to see whether that change to maybe an advanced forward or a pressing forward would make more of an impact because I did find that the striker did not score a lot of goals. We can see here, goals selected, Duvan Zapata, who played the strike role, only scored 15, and Ilicic, who played in a shadow striker, scored 16. So I am quite curious as to whether if we did change that, Duvan Zapata would have scored more because he's better suited in an advanced advance forward or a pressing forward for example but still you cannot deny that this tactic has definitely worked we finished in second place for christ's sake 82 points so let's take a look at this tactic a little bit more than the third tactic today that's only on a positive mentality maybe that means something three tactics here all positive or dominating the league fairly wide attacking width there playing out of defense working the ball into the box standard pass and directness extremely high tempo in transition we can see a gagan press rolling the ball out out of possession however again a much high line of engagement and a standard line but again we have players in kind of every div every different level of the pitch preventing the short goal kick distribution with a high extremely urgent pressing intensity and for all of you who cannot download it for the very last time we'll go through the individual instructions for each player should you wish to copy across this tactic for yourself but again the link will be down below remember guys this is tactics for if you're at the very top of the league and i'm just showing you teams like atalanta to prove that they actually work if i i'd imagine if i chose juve or inter milan or even ac milan we probably would have won the league by a country mile but i just thought it'd be funny to try a bit of a challenge and atalanta they've done exceptionally well to finish in second place in this they also managed to win the Coppa Italia and got to the quarter-final of the Champions League, only to be defeated by Manchester City. So they actually did exceptionally well across the whole season using this tactic. So thank you very much for watching the video. Really do appreciate all the love and support recently and all the new guys coming across from the rebuilds. There will be plenty more to come soon. So if you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed, liking the videos. And remember, if you want to download any of these tactics, the top part of the description will be those links. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.